today? Are you good? Yes or no? Yes, I think I heard mostly yeses and that is awesome. And if you did say no, that's okay. I'll send you some love. Okay, today we are going to practice letter ah, U. And U is a special letter. It's a vowel, which means it has two sounds. That's right, two. It's going to say uh, uh, or it will say its name and say U. Uh, U. Two sounds, letter U. And U is really tricky when we're trying to write it. Okay, so we're going to practice making it. We're going to practice writing it. And then we will check out some animals that begin with the uh or U sounds. So you will need your helper, which is the grown up that's with you, to help you get your supplies. All you need, something to write with, pencil, pen, crayon, whatever you have available, and our handy dandy sheet. You will need uppercase U's, lowercase U's with the start dot, ooh, and then one all by itself so we can make it all on our own. So go ahead and have your helper, get your supplies, and meet me back here so we can check our schedule. Okay, friends, let's check our schedule. We have two jobs today. We are going to practice making and writing the uppercase and lowercase U, and then we will check out those animals that begin with the uh or U sounds. And when we get to the star, you know we'll be all done. So let's go. Okay, friends, let's get started. We are going to work on the letter U. We're going to practice the uppercase first, then the lowercase. Okay, so let's look at our uppercase U. Here we go. We have a big line down, and then it actually kind of curves, and then a big line up. Now, the tricky part is a lot of friends, let me show you what happens. A lot of friends do their big line down, but then they kind of forget the curve and then they make it and it kind of looks like a V, like a crazy V. That's kind of what happens with you sometimes. Or friends will start over here, they'll have their big line down and they'll make a huge curve. And then it's just way, way too big and it looks crazy. Okay, so. This is what Mrs. Huey is going to tell you that sometimes might be helpful. Ta-da! <gasps> Look, we have a horse. You're probably wondering, why are you showing me a horse? Well, watch this. Meow. When we're drawing a horse, <gasps> we are making a big line down. Oh, a little curve for his mouth. And then back up. <gasps> we're basically making a horse's like face, his like, like his head. Okay, so that's what we're going to use <gasps> to practice, to think about with our use. So we're going to leave this right here with our U, because look at that. I mean, look, you just put it here. Oh, come on, don't get stuck. Look at this. Meow, meow. They're like very similar. Okay, so we're gonna try this horse thing. Okay, so here we go. I've got all these pieces. I gotta have my little curve in there. Okay, so I'm going to start. Watch first. So I'm gonna go big line down, just like here. And then I'm gonna add my little curve, like his mouth. And then I'm going to go back up. Ooh, so I can make my U. Now, are my pieces, they have little funky lines. Just ignore that part because I can't make those go away. Okay, but we're going to start at the top. We're going to do a big line down, a little curve for the mouth, and then back up. Okay, so now we're going to do it again, and you get to help. Finger writing time! You can do it on the table, on your hand, on your head, on your leg, wherever. Okay, so let's practice our uppercase U, also known as the horse head. Okay, here we go. Let's make our horse. A horse face, I guess I should say. Okay, big line down, make the mouth, and go back up. Yes! Okay, now you do it. Oh, hold on here. Let's move this. Okay, big line down, add your mouth, and then keep going. Yes! Okay, this is very tricky, so let's do it again. All right, here we go. We've got our pieces, and change your finger writing spot. So if you were doing your head before, now do your leg, or just wherever you want, or on the carpet, floor, table, wherever. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Big line down. Ooh, make a mouth, and then back up. Oh, yes, big line down, make a mouth, back up, just like a horse. Okay, Hopefully a horse will help you remember that uppercase U because it's so tricky. Okay, now let's look at the lowercase U. Okay, lowercase U is different. We're still going to go down and have that little mouth for the horse and back up. Then we stop and go back down. 
So we're going to go do a bit blah, little line down, make a mouth, up, down. So a lowercase u has a little straight line in there. Now, you are probably seeing that I have two of these because I wanted to show you something. Let me move this. Okay, this is my normal little curve that we use for C's and when we're just doing our like G and our lowercase d. So this is what I have here. But if I use this for my U, my little curve that I normally do, look, little curve up and down. Oh my goodness, look, this, this looks crazy. These do not look the same. This has to kind of go down here. So I don't want to use this little curve for when I make my lowercase u, I just made one that looks more like the horse. Here we go. We're going to leave it here. Meow. Meow. Okay. So here we go. Finger writers. Get your finger writing ready. Change your spot. Here we go. We're going to go down, give a mouth up, and then back down. Whoa. That's kind of tricky. Let's definitely do it again. Bloop. Change your finger writing spot. Here we go. All right. We're doing the horse mouth. Remember. Remember. Blah. Little line down, give it a mouth, up, and down. Whew, let's do it one more time. Change your finger writing spot. Let's make that mouth. Here we go. Little line down, give it a mouth, back up, and down. Yes! Okay, now let's practice writing it. So grab your paper and your pencil. Okay, friends, if you have your letter U paper with your uppercase and lowercase and something to write with, fabulous. If you don't, that's okay. You can still finger write. That's what's awesome about finger writing. You can do it anywhere because you're just writing with your finger. Okay, so now we don't want to forget our awesome horse. Our big line down, give it a mouth, and go back up. So we're going to leave our horse here to help us remember that. So we'll leave it right there. Okay, here we go, friends. Start on the green dot. Let's do it. Big line down, give it a mouth, go back up. Yes! Excellent. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Big line down, give it a mouth, go back up. Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. On green dot, big line down, give it a mouth, go back up. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look, we're making so many horse faces. Okay, here we go. On green dot, big line down, give it a mouth, go back up. Woohoo! Okay, friends. Oh my goodness. Let me move this over so I don't write on it. Okay, we have to do it all on our own, and I know we can do it. On green dot, here we go. Big line down, give it a mouth, go back up. Awesome! Okay, we got this. We got this. All right, now we're going to do our lowercase. We're just move it here. Okay, there we go. All over the place today. Okay, friends, we're going to do our lowercase u. Remember, we're doing the same thing. We're just adding a line at the end. Here we go. Little line, give it a mouth back up and down. Yes! Okay, let's try it again. Ready? On green dot. Little line, give it a mouth up and down. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. On green dot. Little line, give it a mouth up and back down. Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? On green dot. Little line, give it a mouth. Go back up and down. <laughs> okay, we can do it. We can do it. All right, last one. On green dot. Little line down, give it a mouth up and back down. <gasps> oh, my goodness. We did it. We made our horse faces, our big line down, give it a mouth and go up. <gasps> For our uppercase and lowercase, we just added a little line. Excellent. Okay. Let's check our schedule. Check schedule! Woo! That was awesome. We were practicing making the uppercase U and the lowercase U. And that uppercase one was so tricky to not make a point so it looks like a V. So we tried to remember by making thinking about bleh, by thinking about a horse head. Because when we're drawing a horse, we're kind of making the letter U shape. So that's kind of a fun way to help you remember. Okay, let's check that off. Ready, check, okay. Ooh, okay, time to go check out those animals that start with that up or U sound. Let's go. Okay, our first animal. Ooh, we have the Ulysses butterfly. U, U, Ulysses butterfly. Okay, this butterfly, super beautiful. It was endangered. <gasps> 
but now they're only threatened. So that sounds like it is an improvement. And guess what? They have five and a half inch wingspan and they eat nectar and flower juice. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see the next animal. Ooh, next one. Okay, we have an underwing moth. Uh, uh, underwing moth. Ooh, and an underwing moth. They are colorful in the back of their wings to make that predators, to make them think that they are poisonous. So that's super cool. Oh my goodness. And they can go up to 30 miles per hour. A moth. Can you believe it? That is wild. And guess what? Oh my goodness. There are 250 to 260 different underwing moth species. That's amazing. Okay. Let's see what the next animal is. Oh my goodness, we have a Urutu snake. Urutu snake. So I hope I'm saying that correctly, but I think it's you. Urutu snake. Okay, they are mostly from South America. Oh my gosh, they're little babies. They're young. They're called snakelets or neonates. It has a triangle-shaped head and it's venomous and it's very aggressive. So stay away from this snake. Okay, let's see what our last animal is. Okay, our last animal. Ooh, it's an umbrella bird. Umbrella bird. Okay, looks like they eat fruit and frogs and insects. And how cool is this? They migrate up and down mountains. That's cool. And looks like they have an umbrella-like crest. Ooh, and beautiful black feathers. Okay, friends, let's check our schedule. Check schedule! Woo! That's was so awesome. We got to check out some cool animals that started with a uh, or you, and I had not heard of them, and I do not know if I pronounced them correctly. Fingers crossed that I was at least close. Okay, and I think my favorite was probably the underwing moth, because I thought it was so cool that a moth could fly up to 30 miles an hour. I mean, who knew? That's amazing. Okay, so what was your favorite animal? Of course I heard a bajillion of the snake, the Arutu, Urutu snakes. Oh my goodness. Oh, Mrs. Huey does not like snakes. Okay, let's check that off. Ready, check. Okay, oh, and look at that. We made it to the star. You know what that means. We are all done. Big heart for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn with Mrs. Huey. Bye. It's Huey time. Bye.